The quickest way to zoom in and out of your file is to use your scroll wheel. Scroll back, scroll forward, and you can zoom in and out. And you will always zoom relative to your cursor. So if you move your cursor over here, your zoom will be centered on that cursor. Move it down here, it's centered on there as well. When you get lost, use this button here, fit to page area. Or if you have an object selected, you can use fit to objects, this button here. You also have a zoom tool here. The zoom marquee allows you to draw a marquee and Vectorworks will zoom into it. For a large project, this is the quickest, most effective way to zoom into an area of the building or the landscape. So let's go back to that. We also have the ability to change our view. This is our current view button, so we could look at this in right isometric. When you do that, and it's a three-dimensional model, you might have some settings that you can change regarding how Vectorworks will present the work. It might be OpenGL or wireframe, or you might use orthogonal or narrow perspective. So now let me change back to top plan and then back to an isometric view. You'll now notice that it's looking in a perspective view. Now the background's also changed. It's gone that green color. It's one of the settings we've got. And when I go back to a top plan, it changes back to the white. We can also place dimensions in an isometric view. If I choose my dimensioning tool, click, click, and double click to finish. And don't forget you can also use your snap loop, the Z key. You can escape from that if you don't need it. 